Hello and welcome to Excel Dashboard Templates.com. Please visit our website where you're sure to get the latest charting techniques to help you build better company dashboards. All right, uh, today we are going to uh, take a look at a radar chart. Uh, the user in a forum wanted to know how to make the outside ring of this radar chart um, red. And then they had data points within that and they wanted to know how do we go about doing something like that. I'll show you an Excel tip or trick today that shows you how to do that. The, uh, here's another sample over here and how this chart works. Is this is actually going to have different colors for every ring going all the way down to the middle ring so that you can see exactly what point is uh, where within the chart. Um, so how do we go about doing that? Let's go ahead and show you. Okay, so we have our data here set up. Um, we've got January through December. We have a column of data. The data ranges between 1 and 100. I've used the RAND between function here, between 1 and 100. And as you can see, every time we enter a new value into the chart, uh, that data will amend itself and give you new random numbers. So it's a good way to check out your charts. Uh, check that blog post on my uh, blog, excel-boardtemplates.com. Uh, so the easiest way to go, have a, go ahead and set up this radar ring chart is to insert a column right here and do insert. Um, however, what if you want to do multiple columns like the one I showed you? Uh, there's a quick solution for that as well. So let me go ahead and show you how to do both of those. Um, so let's go ahead and create uh, that red ring, which is going to be on the outside of it. And then let's also do another one, which we'll call a gray ring. Um, and we'll show you that one as well. Okay, so since our data is between 1 and 100, uh, we can chart our radar chart and see where our rings lay. We can also change how the rings lay out within the chart. Um, but I know that uh, the rings are going to be between 80 and 100. So what I want to do is I want to insert another data point, another series if you will, uh, at 90, which is right in between 80 and 100. And so that one will be uh, the uh, red ring and then let's do another one which we'll call this gray ring here and let's do that uh, the next ring set would be between 60 and 80 so a point right in between that would be 70 and I'm going to copy that all the way down as well let's highlight this whole range we're going to go up to our insert menu uh, we're going to look for the radar chart radar chart is not here it's in the other charts section and we want to go down and we want to pick the radar chart Let's move that up so we can take a look at that a little bit better. Um, so here we have our radar chart, and you can see it's got our data point. It's got this gray ring, and then it's also got this red ring. So let's go and show you how we do that. Let's, uh, let's make this uh, data ring by right-clicking on it and hit Format Data Series. Let's change the line color of that to a bright green so that we're sure to see it. Let's change the uh, gray ring to a line color solid line. We're going to change that to a dark gray. Uh, and then this red, we are going to change the line color of that one for, to a solid line. And we're going to change it to bright red. Okay, so I'm going to move this off just a little bit more. So as you can see here, we still have this ring selected right here, right? So this is our red ring. We want it to fill up this last part of the radar chart ring. How we're going to do that is just a little bit of a trick. We're going to click on line style and we're going to come up here and change this to about, oh, I don't know, let's try 18 points. And 18 points is filling up pretty much most of that outside ring and it looks, uh, looks pretty good. Let's do the same thing for the gray line. Line style, change that to about uh, 20 as well. Um, and there you have it. We've made the rings uh, colored uh, and so you can take a look at those points. Uh, let's just get rid of the legend here as well. Now, remember I said if you had inserted your data right here, uh, I'm sorry, inserted your ring information in between your categories and your data, uh, this would be on top of everything. Uh, that's the quick, easy way to do it. If you don't uh, have the opportunity to do that, what you can do is you can uh, uh, select your chart, then you want to go up to the design ribbon, and then right here, the Select Data button in the Data Group, you want to click on that. And what we want to do is we want to move this data ring down. So in the Legend Series entries, I'm going to select the data ring, and I'm just going to move it down. And you can see it's now above the red section. I'm going to move it down once again, and you can see it's now above the gray section. So uh, if you have multiple rings, that's the way to do it. And uh, 
uh, you can play with this in Excel. It's a neat, fun tip and trick. Once again, I'm Steve True with ExcelDashboardTemplates.com. Please visit my website and sign up for my email user list so that you're sure to get the coupon of the exciting products that we have coming out in May. Uh, thanks, and see you in the next post.